Hey guys, you've probably wondered how do you deal with all your restaurant staff throughout this whole coronavirus crisis? If you have, make sure you guys keep watching. Hey guys, a lot of you are trying to figure out how do you deal with your restaurant staff through this whole coronavirus crisis. You don't know how long your restaurant's gonna be shut down until you don't know how, how long this whole quarantine process is gonna take place and every single day you're bleeding out of your pocket. So you're trying to figure out what is one of your major expenses, your labor. And that's what we're going to be covering today. So then that way, I'm going to give you the four different options in order for you to be able to understand through all the noise, how you're going to be able to deal with your biggest expense, your labor, in order for you to live another day to fight for another day. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe along the journey because I'm going to be sharing a lot more of these content with you. So make sure you subscribe. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. So before we talk about any of the steps, the four steps, first of all, we need to make sure we assess our business health. And what I mean by that is understand how much cash flow you have done in the bank, understand how much you need to account for paying rent and auto utilities, and understand how much cash is left in order for you to run your runway. This dictates how healthy your business is and what course of action you can decide to make. So now that you understand the business health of yours, you understand the numbers, you understand how long you can survive without having any revenues to come in, then you can consider one of these four options. Number one is to pay all your staff leave with pay. A lot of big companies are doing that. All these chains are doing that mainly because they have assessed their business health and they understand that throughout the quarantine process, they much rather keep the morale of their staff. They understand that this creates a great culture within their company if they can afford to do so. Now, not a lot of big, not a lot of companies for that matter can afford to do that. But if you have enough cash flow, it's something that I would highly recommend you to do because hiring a new staff and training them requires you to pay money for training and everything. But if you guys can go through this crisis together, you're gonna have some loyal people that you can retain. And these are the people that will fight and put their necks out there for you in the future. The second way to deal with your restaurant staff is leave without pay. And what I mean by that is after assessing your business health, understanding the fact that you may not have enough cash flow to sustain your business while paying all your staff full-time pay without any work, then unfortunately you need to start talking to your staff. Under they would understand the position that you're in, that you're bleeding left, right, and center, that you need to pay for rent, you're forgoing all the revenue that's coming in, and all these crazy things that are happening at this moment. Your staff would understand you don't want to lay them off, but you want to keep them on board. And if you have that consensus, if you have that chat with your staff, then it is okay to have them leave on holidays without pay. The third way to deal with restaurant staff throughout this whole crazy crisis is staggered shifting. And what I mean by that is if you're still operating your business in wherever you are, or if you're operating business as a delivery only option, it is okay to talk to your staff and explain to them about the situation. Once again, they very much well understand the situation that you're in, that you have all these crazy expenses and that you're losing money left, right, and center. So they're okay with just working the minimal shifts and to actually work out the staggered shift with their other partners and other peers and so in that way we can all get through this whole crisis together the fourth and final way to deal with your restaurant staff throughout this whole coronavirus this whole crisis is to fire them now i'm not telling you to fire them in a very bad manner i understand that a lot of you are suffering through a lot of guilt, internal guilt, because you know that they have families they need to feed. You know for a fact that they're living paycheck, pay, paycheck to paycheck and you feel super guilty and you don't know how to fire them. But then yet you assess your business health and you just don't have the money to pay them when there's no work. Now I'm giving you the permission in order for you to fire them because a lot of you understand that business is business. Business decisions need to be made. And the sooner that you can make this decision, the sooner that you can live another day to fight another day. So then that way, when times change, you can go back and actually take care of the people that you love, take care of the people that you have fired, take care and rehire them, get them to join this whole family again. A lot of people are afraid to fire people, afraid to take this action because they feel guilty. Today, I'm giving you the permission to do so. 
business is business, live to fight another day. So there you go, the four ways to deal with your restaurant staff throughout this whole pandemic, whole quarantine period. Number one is leave with pay. Of course, we all wanna be able to do, to do that, be a responsible owner and to build that morale, build that culture. This comes at a huge expense, huge capital and deep pockets. If you have that, I highly encourage you to do so because all these people, they live paycheck to paycheck and they have families to feed. Second step to deal with your restaurant staff is to have them leave without pay. Leave without pay is the second resort because at the end of the day, you don't want them to leave, but at the end of the day, you just don't have that cash flow in order for you to sustain them. So getting them had to have a month of vacation unpaid is also something that you can work out with them. The third way is staggered shifting. Staggered shifting so then that way you can still give them some shifts in order for you to maintain your operation if you're dealing with delivery as an option or if you're in a place that has, that your operation can still sustain. Fourth way, the final way to deal with your restaurant staff throughout this whole crisis is to fire them. I'm not telling you to fire them out of spite or be cold hearted, but business decision needs to be made and unfortunately you need to be able to protect yourself and i'm giving you permission to do so do not have to feel guilty because you have done assessing everything live to find another day so then that way you can repay the people that are on your team these are the four ways that you can deal with your restaurant staff throughout the whole crisis i really wish and hope that I can give you a better alternative but unfortunately these are the four ways if you guys want to learn more about how is that one thing that you can do in order for you to survive through this pandemic check out this video right here where i talk about the number one way to survive this pandemic nonetheless i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe along the journey because i'm going to share much more of these crazy content these good content with you otherwise smash the like button i'll see you guys in the next video